This video shows some applications of laser microdissection to environmental microbiology samples. In this first example, we're cutting out a protist from an environmental sample that was mounted onto the special membrane provided by Leica for this demonstration. Um, the area of interest is circled, but using a pen on a touch screen, and then the laser then follows that line um, to cut out the sample um, and the membrane, which will fall into a collection device underneath the cutting stage. Um, what you just saw was an example of the laser following a predetermined line, and right now we're in live mode where the laser is following where I'm touching on the screen. And again, this sample is being uh, collected in a uh, PCR tube below the microscope stage. In the second example, we're cutting out some naturally fluorescent phytoplankton from a wet mount of a um, cultured sample. And so you can tell that this is a wet mount because the cell in the upper left-hand corner was moving around. There is some liquid that the laser is cutting through. Um, and again, the idea here is that the cells can be surrounded by the laser and cut out, um, and then that membrane material will fall down into a collection device below. <clears throat> So we did a predetermined cut, and then I go back in for uh, more fine-tuned live cutting to make sure that the piece falls into the device below. In this third example, we're showing that the laser system can cut through a environmental sample that has been mounted on a filter, um, commonly in environmental microbiology. Um, cells are concentrated onto a filter. In this case, we're using a GTTP uh, polycarbonate filter, which we would normally use for epifluorescence microscopy. And in the center of this circle, um, there was a fluorescently labeled cell stained with a DNA stain. And again, we're sending the laser around in a predetermined cut, and then I'm going in for more fine scale cutting with live mode. And this was a demonstration that the laser can not only cut through the membrane um, of the special slides that are provided with this microscope, um, but also through the um, filter material. And it's a little bit thicker, and so that's why we have to go around a few times to get it to cut out. And the laser is also having to focus in between both of those layers, so both on the filter and on the membrane, and that's why you see those lights kind of moving around off to the right. In this fourth example, we're demonstrating that the laser system can cut through hard samples such as basalt. Um, our lab in particular is interested in microorganisms that live on rock surfaces, and we wanted to see if we could cut through those types of materials with this laser system. So in this example, there's a, a small piece of basalt. It's about 20 to 50 microns thick, um, and I've just made a line through that basalt, and I'm sending the laser over that spot again and again, um, and it's slowly milling away through that basalt. Um, if we were to increase the laser power, we could possibly cut through it faster, but I want to see how well it does um, at this laser power. So I send it through three times on a predetermined path, and then I change into the live mode, and now the laser will follow my movements on the screen with the pen that I'm using on the touch screen. And then I can go very slowly over the sections that I'm interested in cutting. Um, if you look closely, you can see little bits of basalt kind of flying off to the sides and um, showing real-time milling of this sample. So I get ready to um, for the sample to fall down, so I cut out another piece of the membrane around it. And then I'll make one final pass through the basalt, and you can see that that section will fall. In this final example, we're demonstrating that the laser system can also be used for etching materials, um, which can be combined with further analyses. So one application that we're interested in is um, etching silicone wafers that are typically used in a secondary ion mass spectrometer, um, which don't necessarily have the greatest resolution. And so with this laser microdissection system, we could um, pinpoint a sample or an area on our slide that we wanted to target and then make a mark in it that says, look here, when we are on the sims. Thanks for watching. This is uh, put together by me, Beth Orcutt, um, in collaboration with our Leica specialist, Alice in Paradise and Jason Massey.